Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of the Path to the Pro Side. This is me, Heriset here. And this week I'm going to be kicking off with some PvP. As you can see here in the background, we are just starting straight into the game. Now I'm going to do an overview commentary of this game I recorded now. I tried, this was this was about the second attempt I tried to make a PvP video. The first one was with me talking while I was playing and, and that didn't really work out well for me. I was a... Uh, too busy analyzing things that I, I should have been doing instead of actually playing the game which is probably best so this is an overview now what I'm trying to do at this point in the game is avoid jumping into large groups of players now my goal at the moment is to pretty much do as much damage and kill as many as possible using all of the binds that we've gone through in the previous videos so as you can see here, this is this would be a dead zone for me now. If I jump down there, I would probably have three three uh, Republic on me, and I would get one shot. So I'm gonna go here and pick off this guy on the side. I'm looking for targets. Pretty much all I'm doing is focusing on taking out people that are on their own. This is a good way to keep the numbers down uh, as well as keep yourself alive. And as you can see, I'm getting some assist here, which is great. What I'm doing at this point in the game is pretty much just watching the guy's HP and his ability. So I have my pretty much my finger on the trigger ready to interrupt anything he does at me. The second and most important part here now is the fact that my HP has taken quite a dump and I have a dot on me. So what I need to do now is heal up as quickly as possible. Now considering I had the dot I just decided to get closer to someone. So here we go. Always take this opportunity and monitor your environment. As you can see you have flames here on this specific map. I'm gonna try to use this later whenever I have the opportunity. I'm following around just assisting targets constantly trying to just keep the kills up as well as stay alive. So we're gonna interrupt this guy. Now I used AoE there to break this guy immediately out of stealth. This is something that will just take time and, and practice to get used to. Uh, you'll have players that will jump into stealth immediately trying to get away from you. If you have an AoE ability on command, for me it's shift 1. Uh, so instantly you can get someone back out of there. This once again, now this is a dangerous area for me, so I'm going to try just take this guy out. He's a little bit less level. Uh, speaking of level, I would not recommend jumping into the PvP area at the moment before level 30. This is simply because the majority of people in there at the moment are already sitting in the 50s and it's it's very very imbalanced in that regard because they have their full set of abilities where you only have up to level 30 but at least at level 30 you have a standard chance. Now I'm at low HP so I'm running away from this guy. I'm using my abilities to get away. I don't want this guy to kill me so I actually got a bit lucky there that he jumped a different direction because he probably would have taken me out. And I'm going in to assist and try to take the player out. Now, I'm doing this on the basis that I am low HP, so my goal is just to slow him and run away, which I managed to do successfully there. So now we're just going to wait. I'm actually going to speed this bit up, um, because pretty much all I do is sit here and heal, so I'm just jump ahead there as soon as we get back into it. Okay. So here we have here some more people just on their own. I'm picking them off, looking at the HP. Now this is something I didn't really cover as much. As you can see, I have their HP bars all showing displayed. I don't know whether this is standard in PvP, but it's actually nameplates. Now if you go into your options there, you will be able to see a, a, tie or a tab that's called nameplates on the initial options. All you have to do is activate show enemy HP. And that will pretty much drop up those HP plates now. I'm using CC on this guy, keep him down. Still focusing on doing as much damage while staying alive. It's pretty straightforward. I'm trying to avoid all the big groups and just, you know, assist my, my team in taking out players. It's four versus one. This is nice and fair. But, you know, I'm still alive and I'm still doing that. And we have ourselves here now, we have the, the guy with the ball. Now, this was the first map or time I actually got the ball in the game, so I hadn't got a clue what to do with it. Uh, so, Oh, I did mean to mention in the start of the video, I forgot, if there was a guy 
if you did want to just watch general PvP, be sure to shut off my voice, put on your favorite metal music and enjoy it. It's not actually a bad PvP video. It's a straight run through. I think I only die about twice and, and end up near the top, so... Okay. So I have the ball here. Now, it took me a while to figure out. As you can see, I'm hitting control or thinking that maybe I could throw it directly to him, but, but that didn't work. And I kept getting punted back, so eventually I figured out it works like a grenade. So pretty much all you do is you select the ball uh, when you get it up in your bar. Now this automatically pops up into your bar when you first play this. If not, you can find it in abilities just by hitting P on your um, on your keyboard. And it'll bring up the abilities. If you look in the general after you've done this, this map once at least, it'll show you that you have the ball throw uh, button available. You can just keybind it to something else or one of your abilities out there. And then if we use that as a grenade, it's it's pretty easy to pass. So it took me took me a little while to figure out, but I managed to get the pass. And so we're still going. It's a draw at the moment. Now I'm not focusing on winning in this match via the points as much as I am trying to go around and survive and kill as many as possible while using all of the techniques and tactics I've gone through in the last couple of videos. Now I could go more, much more advanced and focus on different details but I, I don't think it's necessary at this point so here we go now we're gonna get this guy down how he threw it but I'm going for the kill anyway okay HP is still good I'm constantly monitoring that uh, as well as enemy HP so I always try to pick up people that are low or assist in those because the, the quicker you kill a guy on your team the less chance he's going to be doing damage from someone else, regardless of his HP. So it's going to assist you in the long run. And if people are looking around for players to kill, then they obviously have the free uh, opportunity to get the ball across and, and win the match. So I'm still topping myself up. Keep yourself healed. Keep your buffs up. Watch your abilities, uh, your timers as well as just general teamwork. I'm going to go and say I didn't use focus now focus was one of those things I don't find useful in this specific match because it it's actually much harder to do um, okay here's a scenario where I could have easily died but I had my uh, break free cooldown available so I managed to get out of there um, back back to focus now the problem with focus here is there's too many players on the map for you to take or too little time for you to actually take advantage of that. Now, focus is much more useful in PvP when you're up against two or maybe three people top. But when you have groups of people dying running out, there's no there's no real point in, in setting a focus. Just try to tab between targets. But at the same time, be aware of tab. I do run into a problem which I will like, explain later. Now this next kill was quite nice for me. I managed to get uh, unbeatable which you know it's quite a nice quite a nice boost to your confidence when you're playing the game when you have all your binds down you know they're working uh there was one thing that i'm gonna go there you go you are unbeatable there is one thing i'm just gonna cover quickly uh is that there are abilities that i myself after watching this are not using for example i have two trinkets there under control two three and four which really i didn't use as much as well as the PvP buff that you get from using T, um, or I have bound to T. It's actually one of the bonuses. So pretty much, it's good. It's good to see these things and watch yourself uh, when you're playing. See what abilities that you're not using and try to improve on them in the next match. It'll really, really help you out. I'm just gonna continue assisting here, and we will move on. Okay, this, this part was actually an error. What happened here is I actually tried to charge him, but I charged him onto the jump, which boosted me right back up and caused the problem. Now, what I've done there with my main throw is stopped him. This is uh, an immobilizing ability I get with talents. Stop him from moving, keep him localized, and then take him down, and I managed to get the ball again. So this is good. So we're in a position now. We're one up. We have a strong team. I still haven't died yet, so I'm looking really, really strong. Gone through the whole map, killed quite a few. Now I'm gonna try get this ball to the other position. 